Hello, let's evaluate this with our calculator. 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. Now, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus, here I can have 9 to the power of 901 is summation of 901. I have 900 plus 1. So, what I can do is to apply this other identity a power n plus m this equals a power n times a power m so what i'm going to do is to apply the identity here i have 9 power 900 minus 9 power 900 times 9 power 1 so from here i can factor out 9 power 900 of 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 you have 1 then you have minus the whole of this divided by 9 to the power of 900 you are going to have 9 because 9 to the power of 1 is 9 so you close your brackets right now you have 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, we are simply going to have negative 8. So, what can we do? Let's evaluate further. Now, I can easily rewrite this negative 8 here as summation or as product of negative 1 times 8. So, I'm going to have 9 power 900 times this is negative 1 times 8. So we can easily recall this particular identity. If I have square root of negative 1, this equals i. So if I take these squares on both part of this identity, this cancel t, so we have negative 1 equals i power 2. So negative from here equals i power 2. I'm going to have 9 power 900 times i to the power of 2 times 8. So from here, what can I do? I can multiply this out. The inside of the bracket, I have 9 power 900 times this 8. This is 8 i power 2. So, I can also rewrite this as 9 power 900 times 8 i power 2 or i power 2 times 8. So, we can decide to make use of natural log. I have ln of 9 power 900 times, let me put it in bracket, times 8 times i power 2. So, this is in the form of A, this is in the form of B, which is B. You have ln of A times B, this equals ln of A plus ln of B. So, that means we are simply going to have ln of 9 power 900 plus ln of 8i power 2. Now, this also is in the form of a times b again. a is my a, i power 2 is my b. So I need to apply this identity here. So what I'm going to have is ln of 9 power 900 plus this will be ln of 8 plus ln of i power 2. So from here, we apply this other identity. If you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. So the 900 here comes behind ln 9. So I have 900 times ln 9 plus ln 8 plus 2 times ln i. Because the 2 here come behind this. 
Now remember, nine is a petrol square. So you can have 900 times ln of 3 power 2 plus ln of 2. 8 is simply 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 3 power of 3. I can have ln of 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 times ln i. So applying this same identity, this will come behind this, this will come behind this. So I'm simply going to have 2 times 900 times ln 3 plus 3 times ln 2 plus 2 times ln of i. 2 times 900 is 1800. I have 1800 ln3 plus 3 times ln2. Then we have plus 2 times ln of i. This is our solution based on this particular method. Now, I'm going to solve this using a very different method as well. Now, let's go ahead and do that. The same question. So we have the same 9 power 900 minus 9 power 901. Now, in the second method, we will still express this as summation of 901. You have 9 power 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a to the power of n. I apply this identity right here. So what I'm going to have will simply be 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So I can factor out 9 to the power of 900. I have 9 to the power of 900 times this divided by 9 to the power of 900, I have 1, minus this divided by 9 to the power of 900, I have 9. So from here, I have 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, that is negative 8. So from here, I can express negative 8 as product of negative 1 and 8. Of negative 8 equals negative 1 times 8. So I'm simply going to have 9 power 900 times negative 1 times 8. From here, let's consider this identity. If you have e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. This Euler's identity. From here, I can move one over here. I have e power i times pi. This equals negative 1. So negative 1 equals, this negative 1 here equals e power i times pi. So what I can do would be to have 9 power 900 times, this is e power i times pi times 8. So what are we going to do? We multiply this out. We have 9 power 900 times 8 power a times e power i times pi. So the next thing we're going to do is to make use of natural log. I have natural log of 9 power 900. Then, oh, let me take natural log of everything times a times e power i times pi. So this is in the form of a times b, the form of ln of a times b. And this equals ln a plus ln b. So we apply it back here. We are simply going to have ln of 9 to the power of 900 plus ln of 8 times e power i times pi. 
Now, if you also consider this, this is in the form of A times B. So we take the same identity again. We have ln of 9 power 900 plus ln of 8. Then we have times or plus because we are using this identity ln of e power i times pi. So from here, what we are going to do is to apply this other identity. If you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. So the 900 here will come behind this. i times pi will come behind this. So what you are going to have is 900 times ln of 9 plus ln of 8. We can express it as 2 to the power of 3 plus ln of this i times pi will come behind this. Then we have ln of e. So right now, what you should know is that ln here cancel e. ln of e is 1. So we have 900 times ln of 9 is a perfect square that is 3 to the power of 2 plus this 3 comes behind this we have 3 times ln 2 plus i times pi times 1 so remember this 2 here will come behind this you have 2 times 900 times ln 3 plus 3 times ln 2 plus i times pi. i times pi times 1 is i times pi. So this will give you 1,800 times ln 3 plus 3 times ln 2 plus i times pi. This becomes our solution using this method. And what I should let you know is that i times pi equals the same thing as 2 ln i. So if you take note of this, you discover that these two solutions are obviously the same. Here we have 1800 ln3 plus 3 ln2 plus 2 times ln i and 2 ln i equals i times pi. Here is the same thing. 1800 ln3 plus 3 ln2 plus this is i times pi, which is the same thing as 2 pi or 2 ln pi. So that is one way of solving it again. We have solved it using two different methods. We have used complex values and Euler's identity. Now let's use factorization method again to solve this or to evaluate it. If you have 9 power 900 minus 9 power 901, you simply have 9 power 900 minus 9 power 900 plus 1, which is the same thing as 901. If you add this, you have this back. So we apply this identity a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. So this, we are going to have 9 power 900 minus 9 power 900 times 9 power 1. So right here, I can factor out 9 power 900. I have 9 power 900 times this divided this. I have 1 minus this divided this. I have 9, which is the same thing as 9 power 1. So from here, I have 9 power 900 times this minus this. This is negative A. So from here, what I can do is to express this as this is 9 power 900 times 8 times negative 1. So this will simply give us the same thing as negative 9 power 900 times 8. So, 
this is also an answer using factorization method. But in the other two methods, we were able to replace this negative one with some complex identities. So guys, that is it. I believe you have seen a whole lot in this particular video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and see you again.